Kathy Hawk brings him out for this afternoon's 11th race. Here's the field one. Ashley's Penny is owned by Ronald Breckler with Brad Henners. Two is Armis Samantha, owned by Glass Equine Limited, Lexington, Kentucky, Chip Noble. Three, Screaming the Night is owned by Westgate Motors Incorporated, Brian Sears. Four, Cinderella is owned by Rankin, Weisenberg, and Ellicott Shaker Motors, Kevin Sizer. Five is Tucson Susie, owned by Frederick Sauer with Todd Jones. Six is Cincy Kathy G, owned by Thomas Price. Dave Hawk is the driver. Seven, Kick and Last, is owned by Lauren Paul Baker, Del S. Miller. Eight horses love that tan, owned by SNR Crow Corporation with Elliot Deaton. Nine, Fritzy Cheyenne, is owned by Fritz, Fritz, and McHenry, Dan Ader. Post time is in seven minutes. Pacers turn on their way to the starting gate, and the gate is rolling. There they go. Phillies let go for a mile an hour. Miss Samantha is out fast with Ashley's Penny towards the rail from between horses. Cinderella is there. Extreme outside. Kick and Lass is driving up after the lead. Around the far turn the first time, and it's our Miss Samantha on the inside. Joined on the outside by Dell S. Miller and Kick and Lass, and they may opt for a hole there, as it looks like they're going to get one, followed by Ashley's Penny, third, three lengths farther back, screaming in the night is fourth. Then it's a gap of four farther back to Cinderella. Next up is Tucson Susie, followed by Cincy Kathy G, love that tan, and Fritzy Shy Ann. They're past an opening quarter in 27-2. and two. Our Miss Samantha on the inside is kind of parking out Kick and Lass, with Ashley's Penny just keeping that hole closed enough in third, and Del S is opting to go back to the three hole, followed by Screaming in the Night fourth. Then it's a long gap of five back to Cinderella, Tucson Susie angles to the outside, Cincy Kathy G, love that tan, and Fritzy Shy Ann. Around the turn to the half mile pole, and it is Armis Samantha and Chip Noble. They had to fight a little bit there, but they have the top spot, 56 and 3 for the half, 29 and 1 on the second split. Armis Samantha has the lead. Ashley's Penny in the pocket, second, kicking last back to third. Screaming in the night is off stride. The major danger is on a break. Tucson Susie starts to roll up from the back of the pack with five to go. Cinderella tightens in, followed by Cincy Kathy G. Love that tan. And Fritzy Cheyenne, they're on their way to three quarters. And it's our Miss Samantha on top. Our Miss Samantha from Ashley's Penny kicking last is back out of the three hole in one twenty-five and four. Very demanding fractions. Our Miss Samantha trying to take them every step of the way. She has the lead by two. Ashley's Penny is second. Kicking last is stalled on the outside. Tucson Susie is next. Far back to the rest of them, but it's as they bend off the turn and come down the lane. This one is our Miss Samantha, and she is in complete control, opening up by five. Ashley's Penny under the whip in second. Tucson Susie drives up the outside. Kick and last is all done. Win number 3,000 for Chip Noble. Our Miss Samantha, 154 and four. Being led into the winner's circle, the two Aramis Samantha, 154 and 4. Second win of the season for this daughter of Noble Land Sam for Miss Hallmark by Tyler's Mark. Aramis Samantha was driven to victory by trainer Chip Noble, and this is Chip's 3,000th lifetime win. Making the trophy presentation to Aramis Samantha, Jerry Knappenberg or of uh, OHHA. Also in the winner's circle, helping to congratulate Chip Noble, Side of Downs President and General Manager Robert Steele. And ladies and gentlemen, once again, we'd like to congratulate Sam Chip Noble III on his 3,000th career driving victory. A third generation horseman, Chip followed grandfather Sam and father Sam Noble into the business. A natural horseman, Chip has both trained and driven his entire career. Chip Noble has been noted over the years for his fantastic percentage figures. Noble has won North American UDR crowns in 78, 81, 83, and he is perennially up among the leaders at the close of the season. During the 1998 season, his UDR of .340 put him in 23rd place among all drivers in North America with 500 wins, uh, with 500 or more starts. 
Chip enjoyed an outstanding campaign in 1998, setting personal bests in both driving wins with 163 and earnings of $1,260,187. On the conditioning side, he was the Jerry Kaltenbach Memorial winner last year as the top trainer on the Ohio Sire Stakes circuit. Chip became the first driver to ever win the Kaltenbach Award twice, having first received the honor in 93. Horses trained by Chip Noble banked $174,257 in Sire Stakes last year, topping runner-up David Stratton's total of $161,688. Among his best horses are Nobleland Sam, Concussion.